because on the kitty website we got a lot of uh, stories and the stories like lore, iron glad, head of end, winter swarm, etc etc and these are all uh, provided by the community themselves so for example uh, with the lore we got four stories which are uh, created by more more overkill 99 we got with ironclad like card specific stories by x circle mind the kid youngest memo like people gone crazy with uh, with the stories so that's a lot of fun so i wanted to uh, re do a read the bedtime story so this is a story about more fun takes about two minutes and it's about the unbound so let's go dear sir edric the new recruits have been trained and are ready to f see first combat i have confidence in this view they seem rather gifted although your speech went into depth about personal hygiene the veterans have been refusing to fight while the daily bath mandate is in place i think we might be able to satisfy their demands if we change the restrictions to weekly now I have gone out of my way to find answers to your questions concerning Unbound. Our research has brought up about a very few answers. However, new discoveries are always possible, so I will keep a portion of my team studying the matter. I guess I should clarify who I'm talking about in case you don't remember your previous letter. I know you are a busy man. I am using the term Unbound to refer to the commanders seemingly not of this world the ones that appear out of nowhere and disappear just the same. The first question we sought to answer was that of the motivation. Of course, you are aware that they don't demand payment for their assistance, even though they use masterful tactics to assist our keeping of order and territory battles. We have, however, noticed that after every battle, the winner claims a portion of money, although we don't know if this money becomes from the enemy commander. We suspect that the Unbound are motivated by prestige, although we don't know what they do with the money. We have noticed a correlation between each commander's experience and the troops' abilities on the battlefield. I'm sure you have experienced this boost of power as well. The next place we searched for information was that of physical appearance. The Unbound don't seem to make small talk, even though they wear their titles proudly. They do, however, as we know... as we have noticed make gestures specifically targeted at the enemy commanders. Sometimes they seem friendly, sometimes formal, occasionally unpleasant. Concerning the names of the Unbound, we have noticed that some commanders fight each other more frequently, sometimes even battling without their full power. This brings up motivation again, as it seems that they feel, as they feel full skill battles as mere duels. To them our territory disputes are games. Finally, we believe that the Unbound have the power to talk to the devs, the ancient beings start to control all of Stormbound. This is only theory though, we do not have solid evidence to back this up. With all this information, I ask of you Edric, please train the Unbound that are inexperienced in this world. I feel that our chances of bringing the world back to order are more reasonable when there are powerful leaders on all sides. Hopefully, someday. The other kingdoms will see the pointlessness of our pretty battles. Sincerely, your loyal servant. So, that was a pretty fun story. Hope you enjoyed uh, me reading it aloud. And if you want to have uh, your story of yourself up here, feel free to ask Kitty on the Stormbound Discord server, the official one. And if you want to read more, then, uh, well, wait for another video of me. Give this a like. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And well, maybe I will make another one. 